All right, we're with Louisville coach uh, Leon Bolware. He's preparing his uh, team for the 2022 season. This is your first year as a football head coach. Obviously, you have success in another sport. Yeah. Won two state titles in wrestling. And there are a lot of people who would, would have been content to just keep winning rings in wrestling. Yeah. What was it that made you decide that you wanted to be a head football coach? Yeah, my heart has always been in football. Uh, just wanted to make sure that I was able to spend some time with my family as well by not coaching two sports. Uh, but again, like I said, I grew up with, around football, always wanted to be a football head football coach. Uh, so really putting that in place and just, I, I took wrestling and I, I got a lot of head coaching experience and was and was successful with it. And there are a lot of similarities, right? Because, I mean, obviously the X's and O's yes. are totally different yeah. sports, but in terms of motivating kids, the discipline and things like that, I mean, yeah. football and wrestling are, are pretty actually pretty tight in that. Yes, respect. so just uh, the discipline piece, uh, the, the motivation, uh, motivating kids, and then also just the, 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 the combat, the hand-to-hand -hand combat that you're going to use in football and wrestling. Uh, goes hand in hand. Uh, so again, motivation of kids and just having that discipline um, on and off the field goes along with the wrestling. Uh, you have some ties to Chester County, obviously, your dad got coached at Chester High School and whatnot, but you have a pretty special tie to Louisville, to Louisville's very storied history, because it was Coach McMurray that gave you your first, yeah. your first football coaching job. Yeah. Take, can you just kind of reflect on what, what you uh, learned at the time you had under Coach Mike? So really, uh, coming out of middle school as a middle school football coach, I uh, was able to reach out and didn't know who Coach McMurray was at the time. I uh, was connected with him with the, by another coach and gave me my first opportunity to be a high school football coach. And then after that first year with him as a JV coach, he moved me up to the varsity level. So um, he's seen a lot of potential in me. I was able to, to work side by side and learn a lot of things on, on, alongside of him. And just seeing the discipline that he was installing in players and, and, and the X's and O's and just the work ethic that he brought to, the, to work every single day was something that I admired and wanted to kind of model my coaching, uh, my head coaching experience behind. Um, so, again, you were having success in wrestling. You were uh, a part of some successful football coaching staffs. But you wanted to make that leap to being a head football coach. Coach, you said that's something you've always wanted to do. Uh -huh. What was it about the Louisville opening that attracted you to start with? Well, this area, uh, the, the community, um, I was able to always kind of see what was going on, uh, the, the history, the rich tradition of football, and just athletics in general um, was always like, man, if I could get down to Louisville, even if as an assistant coach, I, I would definitely want to be a part of, of something that's historic as uh, Louisville football is. Um, so really, just the community, the, the, the school pride, the excitement that this town brings is, is something that I knew that when I seen that opening, I, was, I couldn't sleep at night just hoping and praying that um, I was going to be the next uh, head coach here. So uh, you were hired in December. You were able to get an early start, which, well, which is good, go through the spring yeah. and, 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 and summer work. So now we're, we're you know, approaching the season. Um, kind of discuss what you're going to do offensively because it's something that has not really been seen at Louisville before. Yeah, so we're definitely going to, uh, we're, we're going to come out in a 10 personnel. Uh, we're going to spread you out. We we run uh, the air raid, so we will throw the ball around as well. But we also, we, we're excited about a running back crew that we have, so we will uh, run right downhill at you. Um, so we're going to be a more balanced air raid team attack than uh, most teams see. But we, we're not afraid to line up and throw it. We're not afraid to line up and run it as well. Because some people hear air raid and think, ah, oh, you know, they throw the ball a little soft maybe. They're not going to line up and get that yard when yeah. they need it. But yeah. just having just seen you in practices and scrimmages, that's not the case. No, at that's, not, that's not the case at all. If we, I told our linemen, we, they're going to earn their paycheck. Uh, so we, if we're in third and short situation, they're definitely going to get behind our big guys up front. Um, I love our linemen on both sides of the ball, um, so we're definitely going to feed those running backs in those short down situations. Uh, speaking of those lines, that's going to be a team strength yes. in both respects because you've got a ton of experience back mm -hmm. on, on, on the offensive and defensive line. Yep, yep, yep. So our defensive line uh, led by James Gilcrease and then offensively led by Tyler Newman and Kate Foster. Um, they do a really good job up front. Uh, those guys are, are anchor of our team. Um, we think we are very fortunate enough. We know that you can't win unless you win in the trenches, and those guys do a good job up front for us. 
and then the, the skill guys, you said that you, you were actually having to try to devise ways to, yes. to get everybody the, the yes. ball in their hands, which is a pretty good yeah. uh, pretty good problem yeah. to have. Yep. Yeah. So we, as coaching staff, we have we have had heated moments and, and, and fun moments in the coaching meetings, uh, knowing that we, we're very fortunate enough to have multiple skill guys that we can we want to get the balls in everybody uh, ball in everybody's hand, uh, and now just trying to find ways to be creative and have fun with it. Um, like I said, we have so many guys on the on the offense and defense side of the ball that we just want to get them on the field and let them let them be playmakers. Um, we have a lot of playmakers on that roster. Um, schedule. Not a lot of soft touches on there this mm -hmm. year. I mean, you know, a couple of good two-way teams, but I mean, you look at East Clarendon, Rich Spring, Mineta, Wagner, Sally. Yeah. Those are teams that that, that compete for one A one A titles yeah. every year, and then. Like I said, Chesterfield, Blacksburg, and then you get into the region, and um, uh, which you know, no soft touches exactly. there. But is, is that is that kind of what you wanted? Yes. Yeah, so building that uh, non-conference schedule, we looked at it. We 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 have five non-conference games, uh, and out of those five, were actually six non-conference games. Um, but when we looked at it, we got four of those non-conference games as uh, those teams go deep in the playoffs every year. So we wanted an early on test. We wanted to make sure we battle tested before we head into our region. Um, we, so we enter in that first phase of our season, knowing that if we can come out healthy and strong, we're going to be fine. Um, so they have well, well coached, well coached teams, and we're looking forward to seeing them all early on. Uh, and finally, you only get one first season as a head coach, yeah. and, and this is going to be yours as a head football coach anyway. Mm -hmm. What will be a successful year one for you? Successful year one would be uh, definitely seeing our kids do what they're supposed to do in the hallways. Uh, carrying themselves well in the community, and then just is making, bringing back the excitement and the tradition of Louisville uh, football. Uh, being successful on the field is going to come and, 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 and show that we can compete um, very well against anybody we line up against. And then, of course, bringing home a region, uh, region title is our goal. Um, so as long as we take care of the first uh, phase of our season, we'll be prepared for our second phase of our season.